Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be looking at this goal from a match between Iksu and Tabi, the same match that my last video uh, took a goal from. This one is a really nice give and go, so I'll let that play through and then we'll get into the analysis after that. Så om skulle M tillskriva sig ytterligare tre mål här under söndag eftermiddagen. Emily Vibron med sitt första mål. 2-0 hade vi. Ett... Okej, okay, så so just a quick situ situational analysis to start with. Så so you can see that there are four attacking players. One, two, three, four. Against in five defending players in the black. Så so I'll just highlight those. One, two, three, four, five. So defense has the favorable numbers here. There must be another attacking player somewhere off camera up here, but we can't see them, so they're not involved in the play at the moment. We'll just quickly look at the pairings as well. This defender's locked onto this player. This defender is locked onto the camera off player. This defender should be paired up with this attacker over here. And down here, it looks like there's a little bit of a switch going on. So those green lines there now represent the pairings as they currently are. I believe they will probably switch. I think that's the way the clip transpires into pairings like that. And you can see just from the body language that it looks like the, the two uh, defensemen there, the black players are talking about that at the moment. So let's see how it transpires. Okay, so the player, let's take that back a bit. This attacking player here has moved out towards the corner and this player has seen them moving out that way and played the pass down to them. And that switch did occur, so you can see that the defender there is is communicating it. She's pointing. You know, let's switch. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with this. The defender is staying on the inside of her player. Um, she is rushing out a little bit, which does sort of lead to her getting beaten. So we'll have a quick look at that again. From here, this defender is really scrambling to get to it, whereas the Ford's already largely in position they don't have to be as fast and that momentum works against the defender that speed works against the defender once the forward collects the ball because the forward turns up the wall and the defender's momentum is still carrying them this way so they are forced to make a tighter turn to follow the forward you can see there she moves in and now just there the Ford has a step on her. From here you can see that this player has already started their movement from here and from here what they do is they head inside. So this is what we call a give and go. They've given the pass to the player and then they they go to another space or most of the time they go towards the net. So as of right now, there's a passing lane in here and this player here, this attacker who passed the ball originally is moving into it. And obviously she gets the ball and has a shot and it's a good goal. So a couple of things there. What could ha the defense have done to prevent this? Or to prevent this, sorry. Well, this player here, she comes down out towards the boards and then puts a stick down a bit late to try and prevent the pass coming through this way. And I'm not exactly sure why. If she had just stayed tight to her player in that pairing and followed with her as she came to the inside well 
that would have probably solved the issue. What that would mean would be that this Ford would still have a step on her defender and she'd keep coming up, but there wouldn't be a passing option to the inside. And essentially then the these two players would just basically trade places. That's the wrong tool. These two defenders would trade places and you'd still have a, a fairly tight defensive structure as this player would come up because they do have that step on the defender. Sorry, again, the wrong tool. They do have the step on the defender. This player here, as they come up, would probably likely have to sag down a little bit into this area just to make sure that they, they're unable to carry the ball inside. So largely that would have been solved by this player just staying with the player that they were paired up with and following them into the middle. As we move further along, once this player gets it here, you can actually see, even though it's not even relevant in the clip or in what transpires, um, there is actually a two-on-one here. We've got two players now against this one defender. And if she wanted to, she could make a pass this way and the net would be wide open for a shot. And there's actually another attacker around the back of the net here, just off camera. But it's not necessary. She takes the shot from there. And the good thing I like about this, this type of play, is that she has momentum heading towards the net here. So even if there was a rebound, she would still, at the speed that she's moving with that much momentum, she'd still be able to follow through and have a go at hitting the next re the rebound that, that came, if it came out into this area here, she'd have a second chance, maybe even a third if, it, if there was a loose ball. But it's not necessary. She finishes it off and it's a really nice goal. So just having a look at that basic give and go, give the pass, go to the net, receive the pass back and it ends up in a nice goal and it's all because this Ford received the ball with motion and got a step on the defender and this player did not track with the person they were supposed to. Anyway, so from here, um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment um, if you have a different appraisal of the situation. I will be uploading uh, further videos in the future. For now though, I've been uploading once a day for the past 10 or 11 days. So I might uh, cut back on the upload frequency to two or three times per week and work on a couple of other things, um, a few more extensive videos or concepts in a little bit more depth. So let me know what you'd like to see and thank you for watching.